It's a situation you need to be aware of if you're looking to buy a pet. You may not be getting what you're paying for. That's what a couple in Largo tells us happened to them, and they have the DNA test results to prove it. They called our Jackie Calloway for help, and she took action. That's a sweet boy. Dog lover Kathy Carlton wanted a puppy that was a mix of her two favorite breeds after her beloved Gracie, a Shih Tzu, died last year. We had her close to 17 years. She was very loving, smart, easy to train. And then there was Benny, a Bichon Kathy and her husband Neil adored. We had the two of them together. They were buddies. You decided you wanted the best of both. I did. I did. And I'd heard about teddy bears. Leroy, bring it. Petland Largo labeled Leroy as a teddy bear, a mix between a Bichon and Shih Tzu. Kathy and Neil fell in love with Leroy at the store but noticed he didn't look like a Shih Tzu. Kathy asked the salesperson, are we sure that this is a Shih Tzu and Bashan? And he said, well, uh, you know, yes it is. I mean, we have the papers and everything. The couple's paperwork shows Leroy's mom is a purebred Bashan and his dad is a purebred Shih Tzu. This document provided by Petland states both are AKC registered. You want some water? Okay. Neil and Kathy paid $4,799 for Leroy. After taking him home, they bought a puppy health plan from Banfield Pet Hospital. It included a DNA test. When the genetic test came back, it said there was zero, no Shizu. The DNA results revealed Leroy is mostly a Bichon and Poodle mix. 55% Bichon, 39% toy miniature Poodle, 3% Maltese, 1% Havanese, and 1% Chihuahua. There is zero Shizu in this dog? None. What was your reaction when you heard the results? Felt like we had been taken advantage of. Neil told ABC Action News he shared the test results with Petland and asked for half his money back. But when the company didn't immediately agree to a refund, Neil emailed me and I sent the test results to Petland. Days later, a representative said in this email, Petland Largo stands by the information provided by its trusted AKC certified breeders. However, because Petland Largo's mission is to exceed expectations, we offered to honor the customer's request for a 50% refund. Within two days, we heard, got a call from um, the people handling our complaint. Petland made good on their promise and mailed the Carltons this check for $2,568. We appreciate it so much. But that's not the end of Leroy's story. It yes, says yes, swab yes. the lower cheek pouches for 30 to 60 seconds. We wanted to verify his original DNA test. Okay, open up, buddy. We purchased this test kit from Embark, a different DNA testing company than the Carltons used. Put the swab into the tube swabbed Leroy's mouth as instructed, and then sent the sample to the lab. Sealed and ready to go. The results from Embark are similar to the Carlton's DNA report. They show Leroy is 50.5% Bichon, 45.5% Poodle, and 4% Havanese. I shared the second set of results with Petland and asked, how can their customers feel confident the breed they picked out? is the one they paid for. A spokesperson responded, Petland stands by the information the buyers were provided regarding the puppy's parent. I asked Florida Gulf Coast University biology professor, Dr. Oscar Johnson about genetic testing on puppies. Is it possible for a puppy to have a parent that does not show up on the DNA test? No, it is not. Why is that? If the dad is truly a Shih Tzu, he will have passed down his DNA to the puppy. That is simply the way that genetics works. I contacted the breeder listed in Petland's paperwork. The facility is in Missouri. The owner is Amish. He has no phone and no email. I reached him through a taxi driver who services his community. The breeder could not explain the mix up involving Leroy. Complete family. They don't have all the answers, but the Carltons say they're satisfied with their 50% refund and despite his questionable heritage, wouldn't trade Leroy for any other dog. I'm Jackie Calloway taking action for you.